Hey dudes, my name's Blako, and I'm making an online multiplayer dungeon crawler in which you navigate through dungeons, collect sweet loot, and kill monsters and whatnot. It's called Kiro 2, the Wizard's Guild, and you can wishlist it on Steam right now. I'll post a link down below. It's supposed to launch in April, and there's still quite a bit of work to do, but I wanted to give a short update for what I've been working on. So I finished the first two dungeons, at least the initial versions of them, these dungeons are semi-randomly generated, and they have a boss at the end. Since the game is sort of like a sequel to the original Kiro, I wanted the first bosses to be similar, but enhanced. Hold it. Run that back. Wait a minute. Go right. There, freeze that. Full screen. Okay, freeze that. Tighten up on that way. Vector in on that guy by the back of you. Zoom in right here on this spot. With the right equipment, the image could be enlarged and sharpened. They have their own special moves, and you definitely don't want to get hit by them since they do major damage. It's also probably a good idea to have a team and wear armor since they're pretty challenging. Or you can just get good. The game has a lobby system to join either public or friend based lobbies, and since dungeons are level based, I also had to add a few new features so that you can only allow people your level to join. The lobby UI is still a little rough, but I think it has most of the things it needs right now. For the actual game updates, I added a shader to my weapons so they now look different based on what item you have equipped. And of course, I added a bunch of new weapons and armors which use Steam's inventory system, so you keep your items even after you finish a dungeon run. And all your levels are saved as well. It's kind of tedious to make items for Steam's inventory system, so I did end up making a few Python scripts to help generate things like armor sets, monster experience drops, and item drop tables. Speaking of drop tables, I made a chest notification system, so you actually know what you get when you kill a monster or open a chest. Steam doesn't give out items immediately, and it can sometimes take a little while, so I wanted to at least show players that their items are on the way. Another notification that I added was for levels. I like it in games that have a level system when it makes a noise to congratulate you on reaching a new level, since it feels pretty satisfying. So I popped open Ableton and made a little sound effect which now pops up and lets you know if you leveled up. And you know what else has leveled up? My enemies. Yeah, so I've been playtesting the game with a bunch of different people, and since the game supports up to 6 players, I ended up having to balance out the enemies and make them harder. I think it feels pretty good so far, and it was pretty fun teaming up and going through the dungeons. You could solo it, but it'd be pretty challenging, which I think is fair. Since the game relies on players typing in commands to move their character and attack enemies, I did end up adding a help button, so you at least know all the commands that you can use. There's still more commands to add, since I still have a decent amount of stuff to implement. Anyway dudes, that's all I got. See ya!